Hey guys, Mitch here from Minifig Man Cave doing another Lego haul, and I have no clue what the number for this one is, but that doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, so today I went to Target. I just got back from Target. Um, trying, and I wanted to find some Series 14 minifigures because the Series 14 minifigures are cool. Um, and uh, I got there and I saw that they had them. They had three left in the little end cap uh, rack. And as soon as I picked up the packs, I noticed that two of said three packs were already open. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to risk parts being missing because there were probably parts missing. So I bought the one that hadn't been opened at that target. And uh, I have felt it, even though I don't have any of the others of the series, so it's not like I'm going to get a duplicate. So I, so I know what's in here. Uh, I'm 100% certain. And if I'm wrong, I'll feel very stupid. So let's hope I'm right. But yeah, uh, this is actually a really cool looking series. So, uh, yeah. And I'm not going to try to collect the whole series. I'll just get my favorites and stuff. Because, honestly, I don't feel like it's worth collecting the whole series with the higher price that they introduced last year. So, yeah. Let's check, let's get the checklist out first. Because I do want to look at that. Okay, stuff for LEGO minifigures online. I will give you guys my code. In case some of you guys play it. Because I do not play it. So, there's there's the code. Um, and then we've got, for some reason there's instructions on how to build these three figures, probably because of all the cloth stuff that's going on with that. So that's cool. And then, the, uh, checklist. Ones that I think I'm, that I'm 100% gonna try to get are the Mad Scientist, the Man Eating Plant, the Fly, the Spectre, um, the Skeleton one looks pretty cool, uh, the Bigfoot, the I'd say a little over half the series looks cool, but I'm definitely not going to try to collect the whole thing. So let's see which figure I have here for my first ever Series 14. And it's exactly what I thought it was, which is the Gargoyle. This is actually a really cool looking figure in my opinion. It's it's uh, I actually didn't mention it um, when I was going through the ones that I liked because I knew I had it. So Or I knew I had it in here. So Interesting, the wings aren't rubber. I kind of like that. Um... But yeah, this is actually a really nice looking minifigure. Um, wow. That is impressive, actually. Look at that. Hold on, I'm just gonna hold this up to you guys. That is really nice. Look at the head mold, because it's got the ears, and it's got like the ram horns, and the um, cracks in the stone, and the little specks and stuff. The face, look at that. That's a spooky little face right there. Very spooky. And he has arm printing, which is also really cool. And it's not symmetrical, which makes it even better. And those wings. That's a really cool wing piece. I actually really like that. So, uh, very awesome minifigure. And, uh, yeah. Um, so if you're looking for this minifigure, feel for short legs, because he is the only minifigure to have short legs. I'm going to see if I can find the bump codes. I'm going to see if I can hold those in light for those of you that use bump codes. Uh, you know what? No, no, I give up. Too much work. Um, but anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this little, little mini Lego haul. Um, where's my sig fig at? Uh, there are minifigures all over my desk because I'm way too lazy to pick to put them anymore. So they're just all over my desk. Hey, look at me. Um, but anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this little mini Lego haul. Uh, just picked up one Series 14 minifigure. Um, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out my Flickr and Instagram pages. Links in the description down there. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.